Hello there guys, my name is Chris Shadon, Mr. Bond, but built for Theme Park News, and welcome to a Theme Park News update from Marjolaine Kaunati. Now before we get started, we have a shout out. It's someone who requested a shout out, they love the videos, and they wanted a shout out, so big shout out goes to Henry McLean. Now if you want a shout out at the beginning of our next video, then please comment down below. I'm officially on my winter break for at least about a month. <laughs> um, so... You know, I'm still I'm still completely free for about a month, uh, and then I should be uh, on a tight schedule up until April, and then I should be free from then on till September. So 2020 season is going to be bigger and better. Don't forget. So big shout out to Henry McLean. Please like, comment, subscribe, and click the notification bell. See you next YouTube video. Make sure you share the channel around as well. And now let's get into the video. So this is from Marjolaine Kaunati. This is on their plans that was revealed during the Plopsa fan presentation on the Plopsa fan day for their 2020 and 2021 attractions. Now again, uh, the photos from the presentation from Pops Updates on Instagram. Thank you very much once again for giving me the photos for this from the presentation. So let's start off with 2020. We we know what's coming, but we just haven't, I, I, we haven't had any, anything on site or any plans that have been on show until now. So starting off, with 2020 and the Vic area, the Viking area. Now that includes the brand new Splash Battle and Zampola Disco coaster, pretty much like the Plopsaland of Pan, Wikiland. Uh, I'm pretty certain this is gonna be called Wikiland as well. Uh, and we've got some plans that you can already see on screen. Uh, basically those plans uh, on that first slide uh, clearly show the area in which uh, they are going to be located. Uh, you can see where, obviously you can see the arrows pointing to where the attractions are pointing to as to where they're located. Uh, and you can click, and as I said before, you can clearly see the layout of the thing. You can see the, the outstretched disco coaster layout. Uh, and you can see the tracks layout sort of uh, below that uh, to, re to sort of obviously represent the splash battle. Uh, and then the second image on your screen now. Van der Bedorsi, that is on site construction. What is happening now? Well, it, obviously, construction is still progressing with this area, ready for next year to come about. Um, but of course, that's the latest on the construction site as of we as of we speak uh, from that presentation. Obviously, the the layout of the splash battle is starting to become a bit more uh, noticeable, and of course, the disco layout is pretty much in there. It just needs some finishing touches and stuff like that. Obviously, get the cars testing. Same with the splash battle. So pretty cool there. Um, moving on then to 2021. Now this is the water playground on your screen now. Fan Dabby Dorsey, look at that. Obviously, the arrow's pointing to where this is going to be. Uh, so, this is going to be just underneath that new Viking area. And you can see on your screen now, Fan Dabby Dorsey, you can see another concept. Now, this, I believe, is for a little mini area. Um, so, you've got the water playground, but then you've also got these. Now, these is, this is a concept art. Now, I'm not too sure about any details on this yet. However, Obviously, you guys can clearly see um, like a playground in the bottom right. So I'm guessing that could be like either a normal playground or it could be the water playground. Uh, obviously, if you're moving forward counterclockwise, you can see like a small spinning flat ride. It looks a bit like Go Jetters at CBB's line at Alton Towers, doesn't it? The Go Jetters Vroomster Zoomster ride, I think it's pronounced. So uh, it looks a bit like one of those uh, flying Dumbo type rides. And uh, then if you're going up a gear, look at that. It's either a top scan or it looks a bit like a Gersar Skyfly. I'm th looking closer into it, looking at the, the design of the seats and the carriages. I'm thinking it's more of a top scan. Uh, like Samari if, you're, if you're wondering what that is, basically it's usually manufactured by the likes of Mondial. Um, and you're looking at something like Samurai at Thorpe Park, if you've ever experienced that, either at Chessington or now in its current location at Thorpe Park. The whole history of that is a completely different video. Uh, <laughs> uh, and then sort of going to the... Uh, left of the top scan or flat ride as we're going to name it now because we don't know exactly if it's a top scan or not We can just guess it from the concept art uh, Because the the carriage is quite blurred. So We're gonna say flat ride for now, but we can assume it's gonna be a top scan uh, But to the left of that it looks like some kind of like mini driving school or something like that I, I, I have no idea about that, but um like I said, that's the only concept art we've got from that. So I'm guessing that playground in the bottom right corner of that concept image was the water playground, or it could be another playground. So is this first concept signs of a brand new area for 2022? 
I mean, it said Marjolaine Carnati on the presentation image, so we assume it's going to be for Marjolaine Carnati if it says that park on the playlist on the actual presentation slide. Um, but there was no year with it from what we could see from the concept image. So um, if there was a year in the concept image, I'm dumb and can't see anything. <laughs> uh, but I'm, I'm pretty sure I didn't see any year on the bottom or the top of the slide or anything like that. So. Um, you know, we are looking at something in the future here. Now, like I said, it could be the water playground, so I'm guessing that playground at the bottom right, if it is the water playground, then I'm thinking that the other attractions will come in in 2022. The flat ride, the small family ride, and what looks like a mini driving school. Like, not like the normal driving school. Think of Legoland, for example. Not the main driving school, but like a, like a mini driving school, like a junior, junior driving school. Um, for like the toddlers and the sort of little like just over toddlers not like the the young kids and near teenage age so you know I think with that driving if it is a driving school like a mini driving school I think you're talking ages two to five maybe uh, not like the main driving school where it's like a, a five to ten maybe five to nine five to ten kind of age that's what usually is the driving schools at this time um, so I think we're looking at more the the smaller scale driving school here. Uh, nothing like the scale of Tornado Springs is driving school, Owls Auto Academy. Uh, but I think we're looking at something smaller than that, either in size. Well, obviously, definitely in size, but I think in terms of age range as well, we could be looking at a mini driving school. But like I said, there was no year on it, so I'm thinking that playground could be coming in 2021, and they were going to have the rest of the area in 2022. So very nice uh, if you're in the playground to sort of see the construction of the rest of the area. From the looks of it, it could be like some kind of... It gives me Lego City vibes. I don't know about you guys from what you saw, but it kind of gave me like Lego City vibes. Uh, so it should be interesting to see what's going to happen with that. But very interesting stuff there from Marjolaine Carnotti. Obviously, I wasn't expecting... Um, you know, when I, was, when I first saw the concept art off camera, I was like, you know, I wasn't expecting that. You know, I was expecting just 2020, 2021 stuff. But it looks like we could be seeing some stuff possibly for 2022. Maybe they're going to push that area into 2021 as a bit of a teaser for some extra investment in that year. So we don't know. We don't know at this stage. It's just the water playground for 2021. Obviously, the Viking area the year before that, which is coming next year. Um, and of course, those rest of the attractions, the little mini driving school type thing, the thrilling flat ride and the family ride, uh, the small scale family ride. Uh, that could be coming the year after 2021. So that could be coming 2022. We don't know anything about that yet, apart from the concept that you saw on your screen. Uh, but very exciting times for Marjolaine Kaunati. So thank you very much for watching this theme park news update from Marjolaine Kaunati. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and click the notification bell so you never miss a YouTube video. We've got plenty of other stuff from this Popsa presentation still to film. Still to film. We've got some stuff from Holiday Park. I've decided not to cover the Aqua Park because uh, we're not a water park channel. If you want to see me cover it though, comment down below and I'll I'll cover it. If there's a major number of comments saying, oh, please cover the stuff for the Aqua Park from the presentation as well, I will cover it. But we've still got a video to come from Holiday Park in the next few days. And we've also got a video um, from some other stuff as well. So uh, can't wait for that all to be revealed. Uh, but for now, guys, my name is Coach Shell, Kit on the Coast Live, and I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care. Have an awesome day, my friends.